first we're going to go to Google and search crossover 22 by hit the top link and you'll see that code weavers offers three different editions of crossover crossover free crossover plus and crossover life with free you get the full version for 14 days but that's it after that none of your games will work until you purchase and register crossover Crossover Plus costs $74. You get the full version and upgrades and bug fixes for 12 months. After that, you're stuck with the version of Crossover that you have, but it'll still work. And lastly is Crossover Life. For nearly $500, I'd say avoid this one for it's not really worth it. So to try it out, let's get the free version, but I highly recommend getting Crossover Plus if you like it. Scroll down and enter your name and email. Then hit Download Trial Now. Once the download is complete, we're going to hit the magnifying glass to find the file in our downloads folder, and we're going to double click the .zip that we just downloaded to get to the Crossover app. Once unzipped, drag the Crossover app from your downloads to your Applications folder. Next, go to your Applications folder and double click Crossover to launch it. Now that we have Crossover open, we need to install our Steam bottle. To do this, select Steam from the popular applications list. Under the details, where it says Crossover will install Steam into a new Windows 10 64-bit bottle named Steam, hit Edit and change Windows 10 64-bit to Windows 7 64-bit. Then hit Done. Next hit Install. Hit Yes. Hit Next again, select I accept the terms and hit Next. You can leave username and organization blank and hit Next, and then hit Install. Once complete, you can click Finish. When the Steam Setup window comes up, hit Next, select your language, and hit Install. Once you're done, you can hit Finish to launch Steam. Once Steam launches, log in with your account name and password. So now we're running the Windows version of Steam. You can tell it's the Microsoft version because you have the Minimize, Maximize, Exit Out buttons on the right hand side. You can also see in your dock the two Wine apps that are running. So before we do anything else, we're going to quit Steam. To do this, go to your dock and right click the Wine64 Preloader Steam app and hit quit and then hit the other one and hit quit as well. Next, select your Steam bottle and crossover and hit install in the bottom left hand corner. In the search bar, search for modern and select DirectX for modern games. Under details, where it says you will need to select the bottle to install DirectX for modern games into, hit edit and select your Steam bottle. Then hit done and install. When the DirectX install window comes up, hit yes. Accept the agreement and hit next again and again to finish the installation. When complete, click finish. Now we have one more step before we can play Sunset Overdrive. And that's to use the crossover patcher known as CX Patcher to patch crossover to allow us to play this game. Click the link in the description to get to the GitHub page for the Crossover Patcher. Select Assets and download crossover.patcher.app.zip. Once complete, go to your Downloads to find the patcher.zip. Double click it to unzip the file. Next, we're going to right click Crossover Patcher and click Open. Click Agree and Proceed. And now we need to drop our Crossover app from our applications into the crossover patcher. So I have my crossover patcher here. I'm gonna to go to my applications in, in Finder. I'm gonna find crossover and I'm gonna drag it into the crossover patcher and let go. Now the app is patched. We can quit out of the crossover patcher. Next, go back to crossover and toggle DXVK on and then off again. Now turn DXVK back on again because we need it to properly run Sunset Overdrive. Now we can launch Steam. Go to the Steam store and download the game you want to play. When the download is complete, double click the game to launch it.
moving. Gotta get across the street. Gotta get creative here. Hang on! I'll get your help! Never mind. Now cross this thing. Remember you, guy I didn't know. Bam! Pretty good shot, huh? I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yep. This guy again. Okay, I can do this. 